What's up guys? It's your boy Kittens coming back to you guys with a discussion video and today I want to talk about the Celestius as potentially another staple card in EDH and generally talk about the power level of it, right? I was kind of reading it and I was like, this is actually an incredibly powerful card. You know, I looked up prices and it's super cheap right now. It's between like one to five dollars and five dollars is like if you have like a foil full art. So this is like a random three dollar one or something and the effect is very similar to stuff where it's like stuff we see with uh, Mystic Remora, Esper Sentinel, and Ristic Study, where the uh, Mystic Remora is sitting right around $9 to $10 or so, and then the Esper Sentinel is right around like 15 or so, and then Ristic Study is right around 25 to 30, you know, upwards of over 30. And the interesting thing about Celestius, I guess we should go over the text. If it's neither day or night, it becomes day as Celestius enters the battlefield. So you'll get your bottom text when it comes into play. And then you can add one mana of any color. And you also have three to tap if it's night, it becomes day. Otherwise, it becomes night, activate as a sorcery. And then the really important line of text, the really awesome one that makes this card really powerful, really, really awesome, is whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, you gain one life. You may draw one if you do discard one. So more or less... What this reads as is it comes into play, you gain a life, and then you draw a discard, pass it around to your opponents, and one th one way that day becomes night or night becomes day is when a player casts two spells inside of their turn. So, you know, right around turn three or turn four, you know, you could draw two, three cards, you know, more or less, you know, you're going to draw one on your turn when it becomes day or night when it comes in. And then you know, pass it off to your opponent, you might draw a second card from this. And then throughout the game, as long as this is sitting, you're going to continue drawing as players cast two or more spells to change the day or night at the end of their turn. And I just, I think that's really powerful. I mean, in my head, I'm kind of thinking like, you know, I'm setting up a strategy. I'm like, okay, turn three, I get a little bit of ramp. You know, turn four, turn five, I'm hoping to play like a four, a four CMC, five CMC thing. I'm using this in Crufix, so I have a five CMC commander. You know, so I'm basically going to be like, you know, hoping to play this, draw, draw loot a few times around the table. And then on my next turn after playing the ramp, I have, you know, my big thing that I want to deploy, you know, just giving me a little bit of that extra draw. And I'm just, I feel like it's going to be incredibly powerful. I mean, there's a little bit of a limit limitation to it where the max you can draw is like uh, three, uh, unless you're untapping it or doing some kind of shenanigans. Um, around the table, whereas something like a Ristic Study or Mystic Remora can net you like five or ten around the circle. But oftentimes, Mystic Remora or Ristic Study will net you, you know, around three, four, five cards, five cards on like the upper ends in the later game. Whereas, so Celestius kind of fits that. The other thing that I'm thinking is that you know the Celestius will fit any deck where the Mystic Remora, Esper Sentinel, Study, whatever, they're all white, blue. Uh, so it just cuts off access to a whole number of commander decks, where the Celestius, I mean, this will fit into every deck. And a three mana mana rock is pretty passable. Even in decks that don't really want three mana mana rocks, you might just want the draw engine. So I'm really just seeing this card as a potential, you know, five to ten dollar card plus, maybe even more, because it's it just fits into everything. It's a legitimately very strong draw engine. It's right on par of what we see with uh, Esper Sentinel, and then close to Myst Mystic Remora and Ristic Study, where you can draw more off of those, but normally you you, you might end up with right about the same amount. I'm just excited to see this, uh, you know, change the format a little bit in Commander. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'm going to be bringing my my juicy, fun uh, crew fix deck at some point once I figure out like inclusions and takeouts and all kinds of fun stuff. And yeah, so if you guys have enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, all that stuff. It's been your boy Kittens. Peace.